Good morning. Just wanted to do a full video walkthrough of the property and go through the shipping container and go through all the little features and things that we've done to make it comfortable. So with that, um, as you can see, this is the hangout area where we have a little picnic table, some turf, uh, just so when you walk out, your feet aren't all dirty or, and whatnot. And on the turf, we also have this little <clears throat> storage bin that basically is an old truck bed that we turned into a bench slash storage bin. So we keep a lot of the stuff like life preservers and, and shovels and things, uh, fish nets, um, just up here for, for anybody to use. Uh, around back, we have Molly and Aaron's little kayaks, a wheelbarrow for doing some work, and our old swing set here. Um, as you can see, I'll, I'm going to go through some of the things that we thought through with regard to the foundation and little things we had to, to get situated so we could get the container up here. Um, but uh, as you can see, the electrical panel is out back and we have a hose and our little water supply. Um, and I'll show you where that hooks up in, in later in the video. Uh, but you can see we had to put a little mound here. Um, or Frank had to put a mound here to level off the container. It was about nine inches off in height as you move from the front of the or from the one side of the container to the other side of the container. Uh, so so that is there to level it off. The container is sitting on eight by eight by eight. Uh, pressure treated blocks uh, so the idea was that I didn't want to go with six by six is because the actual um, end where all the weight of the container has to sit on is about eight inches so this kind of fits perfectly right on it it also gives a little bit more elevation off the ground to a lot of, let a lot of airflow underneath uh, with that you know people do a lot of things with foundations they do helical piles um, sauna tubes all kinds of things uh, I just didn't want something that was going to be permanent and a lot of people said you know what just do pressure treated because whatever if they rot out in 15 20 years just replace it and they're easy enough to jack up I've already used a, a bottle jack to jack up the container uh, just to situate uh, the pressure treated wood a little bit better and level it off and it's pretty easy to do so I have no problems replacing these or leveling them off when they need to be <clears throat> uh, the little step ladder was made from a little thing called a dunnage dunnage rack off of Amazon it's uh, basically uh, I think people use them in like freezers and they put food on top of them and things like that uh, it's made out of aluminum so I know it won't rust, and I put uh, just like a Trex deck on top. So going inside, we decided to put an insect screen on here, and honestly, um, we leave the door open against this little magnetic hook uh, probably all day long and go in and out. So we really just let it air out uh, and use, use the insect screen. Um, I'm going to open that up. As you see, as you walk in to the container, straight ahead, you have your little kitchenette area. Um, refrigerator up here is called the power pot. It's pretty awesome because it's non-stick and uh, non-toxic non-stick. So you can cook eggs in it. Uh, last night I cooked ground beef with mush mushrooms in it and uh, it, it worked out great. You just wipe it out. So, you know, the tough part up here is that you don't really have a dishwasher or things to scrub pots and pans with so um, it's perfect for cooking mac and cheese cooking cooking whatever um, we have a electric water heater for coffee and tea and then obviously a toaster over here so um, just kind of minimal amount of appliances that we think we would need up here uh, air conditioner over to the right which we used once and mostly just to test it out because it gets down to like 50 degrees at night up here in the middle of the summer and every night so far uh that you know me and the kids have been up here in the family uh it's always been <clears throat> we wear sweatpants and sweatshirts while we go to bed so it it does get nice and cool 
Um, now here is the power supply center. I don't have power routed yet, but um, you know, around into outlets. I don't have any of that stuff uh, because there's no insulation or studs in the shipping container. But uh, this is a 20 amp, so it's a little thicker of a, a cord used for, for the power supply just because I knew I'd have a lot of power running through it. <clears throat> I have 30 amp running here, so I have 3,600 watts of capacity, you know, just to give some use. I think the refrigerator, or I don't even know there, maybe the power pot, that thing uses like, you know, while it's running, maybe 800 watts or 1,000. I think the toaster is like 1,500 watts, uh, and maybe the water thing is a little less. I think this thing, you know, is, I don't know, 1500 watts, something like that. So it's just something you wouldn't want to be running all of these appliances all at once. I think it could handle it. But, uh, but anyway, uh, that's kind of the thought process with, with the power. We have 30 amp service and total 3600 watts available. Uh, so heading over to the right side of the container is where we have all of our storage. So everything's in, um, plastic containers just to keep any kind of moisture or condensation out while this is an unconditioned shipping container. So just trying to keep everything mold free, mildew free. Uh, so we have toilet paper, sandwich bags, um, you know, all of our utensils are in here, all, all bagged up. We have uh, forks, knives, spoons, bowls, all that stuff, uh, cups, plates, uh, going down here, we have just, um, you know, grill, grill equipment and other miscellaneous equipment. Um, same thing up here. Uh, so, and then further down all the way at the bottom is our grill. And then here is our muck boots. So getting around the property gets kind of dirty and, and muddy. So we have all our boots stashed here and this is our, um, water. So this is what we use to, to basically get water for the weekend. This is a five gallon reusable, uh, BPA free plastic container for water and it works pretty awesome it's probably about for a family of four two and a half days of use of water so that's kind of perfect for a weekend and we use it you know drinking brushing our teeth that sort of thing and I'll just show you real quick demonstrate how you get water out of it uh, so we go ahead and grab a grab a cup and all you have to do is hit the little power button on top. You hit it. And turn it off. So we just keep this thing kind of charged for the weekend. We haven't run out of juice yet, but it works great. Uh, coming around the corner is our toilet. It's a I'm very excited about this. this is a think tank it it's pretty amazing it's basically got intake and exhaust when it's constantly pushing air through the base of the toilet and so it just keeps any kind of smell out it doesn't smell at all um, and it dries everything out so and it's urine diverting so it keeps urine separated from everything and that um, goes out the back and you never have to you know empty the urine because it's constantly draining out the back into a container. That's our garbage can. Um, this is our broom and <laughs> this is what we use. These have been awesome because the containers metal everything we kind of get are magnetic here. So we have magnetic paper towel holder and mirrors, um, different things. So going into the main living space or <laughs> where we sleep is, uh, bunk beds and about a queen size uh, pull out. Uh, we elected to go with a pull out just in case we needed to have more space to turn into a couch or hang out, sit down for the day. Um, but but yeah, that's kind of, kind of it. And so you can see there's four windows all the way around. Um, they work great. They're uh, 24 by 36 inch windows. And um, they're just add ample airflow throughout the space. Uh, as you can see here, we have 
uh, little magnetic hooks for towels, bathing suits. Uh, you can put them on the outside of the container, inside of the container, uh, but they, they've been pretty awesome. Uh, so here's our lighting. We have outside lights and inside lights. And what these are are magnetic, um, magnetic switches that work on some sort of radio frequency or something. Uh, so there's a module out in the electrical panel for the outside. So if I hit on, that's going to turn on all of our string lights on the outside. It's hard to see because it's morning, but the string lights go all the way around um, the container. And they're, if you can see the string lights going from the container to the electrical panel on a, on a, a metal cable. Uh, but that's how we turn the outside lights on. And then you have, you can turn them off, you can turn the inside lights on. So, so the inside lights are just stick LED across the top. And of course you can change the colors and do all kinds of silly stuff. But they, they work great. It's, so I'm going to turn them off. Um. So we also have these little, we have four of these magnetic little um, caddies. You could put your phone in there at night or put, you know, little snacks or Twinkies, whatever you think should go in there. All right, coming on outside. <clears throat> going around back. So um, this is where the urine empties and into this little, um, you can put a little, like, uh, container there to catch it and then dump wherever you need to this is where the electric hooks up and it's basically a um, 30 amp a uh, little hook up here and all you do to plug it in is you plug in twist down and then s s turn this to lock it down here's our outdoor shower our outdoor shower is just a bunch of PVC pipe from Home Depot held on by these magnetic uh, holders. And when we use it, we just kind of hook it up to the, um, the water over there. And this is our grounding just in case. Uh, but I have ground the container grounded. <laughs> And then if you walk up here, you can see the electrical panel. So to plug in, you just plug right in. So we have a 30, a 30 amp, 50 amp, 240 volt, and then our regular 115. This is that modulator. So when you turn on the outdoor lights, it just hits this thing and turns them on and off. We leave this plugged in all the time. But we unplug these this when we leave the container shut down all the electric should leave that open um, right and here's here's our water and our water hookup and and that's it that's the the full container walkthrough